Uh, we're ready to get started. So first of all, before I get into uh, the main presentation, I'd love to share a few guidelines to just make this ex experience enjoyable for everyone. So just, uh, you know, the event will be recorded, but we've uh, turned off video and we've also muted everyone to just make sure that everyone can, can hear and follow the conversation clearly. Um, we are really excited to hear about your questions. We have a full 20 minutes dedicated to Q&A at the end of the event. So we invite you to use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen through the event to drop your questions. And finally, we also have closed captioning available. So if, um, if you want to use it, you can uh, click on the live transcription icon at the bottom of your screen and select your preference. So on the agenda today, uh, we're gonna do a quick intro. We're gonna then explain uh, more about Metapro. Uh, we also invited Deanna to share what's coming up on Pro. And finally, we'll move on with the Q&A session. Without further ado, um, I'm happy to introduce myself. I'm gonna be um, one of your presenters for today. My name is Marie-Lou Gauthier. I'm the head of customer success here at Meetup. I've been with Meetup for over five years. I'm really passionate about community. I've been focusing most of my time here working with Meetup Pro customers. Um, so I'm really, really excited to share about this incredible product with you. And I'll, to this, I'll pass it uh, to Deanna to introduce herself. Hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Diana. I'm here. I'm the lead product manager focused mostly on Pro. I'm excited to share with you some uh, exciting new features that we're launching in, in, uh, in the upcoming months. Awesome. So um, what we want you to learn today is what is Meta Pro? I think it's um, probably a subscription that a lot of you have heard about. Uh, so we want to make sure you know what it is. Uh, we're also going to cover who is it for. And uh, we'll introduce the key features. And then, um, as Diana mentioned, she's going to go over some features that we are about to release. And uh, we'll make sure that you have all the resources available to you to continue your learning after this event and to even uh, be able to give it a try for free. So let's get uh, to it. So, what is Meetup Pro? So Meetup Pro is a subscription that we designed uh, for businesses and organizers that are looking for more professional tools. Um, it's also a subscription that you can use if you're ready to expand your community to more than three groups. And it's also a, 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 an option that you can use if you're interested in sponsoring groups on Meetup. So the way that Meetup Pro works is that we um, create for you a new level. So you're probably used right now to the, the, the core way that Meetup works, which is we have members that are joining groups and then um, in the groups you have organizers. So with Meetup Pro, we're creating a new level that we refer to as a network. So you basically um, are now able to manage a community that is comprised of multiple groups. There are two main ways that you can structure your community with Meetup Pro. You can um, decide to continue just like you do now where you remain the organizer of every group that, um, you, that you run. And so you would um, have two roles. You would be uh, both the network administrator, so you will have full control um, over all the groups, and you will also act as the premier organizer of every single group that is part of your community. So we call it the ownership model because you own all the groups that are part of that larger community that um, is your, your, what we refer to as your pro network. There's also a different model that you can use um, under that model you can have an account that acts as a network administrator. So that account will um, be responsible of managing the network of the groups that you have. Um, that said, every group can keep the existing leadership team. So um, under that model, you're basically 
acting more like a sponsor where you bring multiple groups under a single umbrella, um, but you really um, keep the, the local leaders fully responsible of their group and they can even continue to own that group. But as the network administrator, you're going to have some tools to help manage and you're also going to cover the fees. So I wanted to share with you some facts about uh, Meetup Pro because it, it is a very popular tool and a popular salary subscription that a lot of our customers are already using. So maybe you did not know, but we have um, 6,500 um, and even more pro customers. And we almost are reaching 8 million of our members that are part of pro groups. And um, the entire, all the, the, the customer base um, represent 27,000 groups around the world. So, um, so many groups already are leveraging Meetup Pro. And um, the network sizes can range from one group to all the way to giant communities um, with 745 groups. So, if you only have a group, you can still use Meetup Pro. Um, there, it's really designed to offer more professional tools. We'll get to that. Um, but also, if you're coming from any type of verticals, um, or really, it's really useful for all of them. Um, and next share here. So I wanted to show you some actual pro customers because I, I think that can really help um, you understand um, who uses uh, Meetup Pro. So the first example is the Confidence Strides Pro Network. Uh, so the network administrator is Tonya, uh, lovely Tonya, uh, which I, I've um, worked with for some time now. So she um, has, um, um, she's using the ownership model so she has under her network three groups. Um, as you can see, the three groups have um, are all based in Cincinnati, but each of the group has a different focus. So one is for women's empowerment, and one is entrepreneurs. The, the third one is personal development. So all of our groups are under that uh, same umbrella. So they all have a, kind of a similar theme and they're all based in Cincinnati, uh, but they have particular audiences for each of them. Another example here is InterSystems. So InterSystems is a data management solutions company um, and they wanted to support groups on Meetup. So they wanted to bring groups that are focused around data. Uh, they wanted to bring them together to create a community and to support them. So they're now currently sponsoring eight different groups um, around the world. So some example here are, for example, the Coders for Good um, group in New York, the Learn Python programming in Boston, and they're even um, sponsoring a group in Moscow. So each group has their own organizer. Uh, they are taking care of all the day-to-day -day and InterSystems is really there as, um, you know, as a community manager, helping them um, connect with each other and provide some, some content and also covering the costs so that it's easier for those groups to run um, their events. And then finally, another example here is the Mocha Girls Week community. Uh, so Alyssa um, founded the first chapter in Los Angeles some time ago, and she uh, started to get requests from other people that wanted to create their own Mocha Girls Week chapter in other cities. Um, and so that's how she decided to uh, create a Mino Pro network. Um, so she created that brand, Mocha Girls Reef, and now um, has been adding more and more chapters in different cities in the country. So Alicia is responsible for the entire network. Um, she acts as the network administrator and she owns all the groups and is um, kind of oversees everything. So she's going to support the different uh, the different groups, but each group has their own leadership, local leadership team. And so Alicia is basically supporting those leaders around the country to make sure that everyone can host uh, successful events um, that are aligned with the Mocha Girls Reads mission and um, community. All right, so now that um, I hope that you have a better understanding of what Mino Pro is about, um, I'd love to get more uh, into each of the tools that it includes. 
So first of all, it's a great tools designed to help you better market your community. So the goal here is to access tools that will help you uh, make your community stand out to members on our platform. So the first main um, element to bring forward your branding and um, really make your community stand out is the landing page. So whenever you create uh, a Meetup Pro account, your network comes with um, a personable landing page uh, if you want. So this um, is an example here of a branded, what we refer to as a network profile. So this page is public. Um, and uh, can be viewed by you know, meetup members or even non-members non and is customizable so that you can showcase your community. So this example here, you can see um, there's a header at the top. So it has the, you know, a, a specific call to action that is specific to the build, little network. Um, they, they added their own kind of logo and color theme. You can also see here an interactive map that shows all the different groups that are part of that community. We also um, add some key metrics about the network. Um, so you can see in this uh, community, there are 55,000 members in 80 groups. You also have a description where you can share more about the mission of your overall community. We're gonna showcase as well um, some upcoming events so that makes it easier for um, existing members or future members to see all the diversity of events that are happening across all the groups of your like within your network, and um, and you also have um, the ability to share more social media, so you can share your website and also an easy easy way to for people to get in touch with you um, with a get in touch button. And then finally, you have the full list of the group. So um, again, people can kind of dive into uh, your community and just um, maybe just focus on one specific group um, that is the most relevant for them based on where they are. Another um, tool that you get with Perp is the ability to display your sponsors. Uh, so that can be a really great way of you know, getting funding for your group. So that section will appear right under members. Uh, so on the group page, you also have the same section appears on event pages. You have the ability to showcase local sponsors. So for each of your group, you can have um, local sponsors, but you can also set, set up network sponsors. So those sponsors will automatically appear on all your pages across all your groups. So, um, really an easy way here to showcase sponsors uh, that you may be working with to get fundings for your group. Another key element that comes with a pro subscription is the ability to connect key information about your attendees and members. So if you are looking to build maybe a, a lead, lead gen list um, or you know connect with maybe future customers, so this um, can be a very powerful way to do so. It's um, already pre-built, so very easy to use. We um, basically add a section under the optional settings so you may be recognizing here when you use the event scheduler. Um, so it's just an addition here where you can pick and choose what information you want the system to ask whenever someone RSVP to your event. You can see here, so this is the registration form that you can build um, to collect more information. And just as it, it's easy to collect this information, it's also super easy to access that, that information. So there's various ways where you can access the information once you get it from attendees. Um, so I showed here, this is a view of um, the pro dashboard. So most of the tools that come with the pro subscription will be uh, all accessible through a pro dashboard. And so under that dashboard, under the member section, you can easily find all the member information. So for example, the email will be shown under uh, the, the member name. There's all, also an export function if you prefer to extract this information from Meetup and import it elsewhere. You can sync um, your MailChimp account with your Meetup account if that's a marketing tool that you use. So that 
can allow you to easily build mailing lists to then further engage your meetup members. And finally, um, all this information, we make it available via our meetup API. So uh, for those of you who don't know what an API is, um, so API stands for Application Programming Interface. So it's basically a mechanism that enable two software components to communicate with each other. So in this case, imagine where you can basically through our, our Meetup documentation, connect the information that you have from your dashboard to any of your own system. So if you wanted to take all this information about your member and add them automatically to let's say Salesforce or another customer uh, tool that you may be using to, to manage another CRM or marketing tool, you can, you can build that um, automated connection between Meetup and your own system. So, so that's what um, the API can be used for. And finally, some, some, of the, some of the tools on their pro are specifically useful for networks that have more than one group. So, so far, all the, all the tools that we've described are really helpful, even if you have one group. Um, but Pro is designed to help you expand. So once you've seen some success with one group, um, you can basically replicate that success in other locations. And using the Pro tools, you can uh, really manage, you start managing those groups easily. That, that allows you to expand more and more without duplicating the work because you have tools um, accessible to you to kind of streamline everything. So for example, uh, we're gonna combine all the data across your groups um, in the dashboard. So you have different tabs with the key sets of data. Those are events, data, members data, and then all the list of your groups. So on each of the tab, you have different tools that you can um, used to really go and, and, and read and, um, and go through all the data that is specific to each metric. Um, another big advantage of Pro, once you start having more than one group, is also the ability to communicate with your members across multiple groups. So let's say Tonya with her, you know, three different groups, she doesn't need to um, message each group separately she can go on our pro dashboard and send one message to reach her entire network. She can also create specific segments if she wants to. Um, so for example, if I want to have a welcome message for people who join in the past 30 days to really make sure that they get a lot of attention as soon as they start joining my community, you can, you can do that easily with pro uh, because you can basically select the filter target every members who joined in the past month and then send them a personalized touch to make them feel um, you know, that they belong to the community and make them excited to join and to be part of your community and then attend your next event. So very easy to communicate. Um, so there's a, the equivalent of the contact members tool that you may be familiar with, but on the, the, the pro side um, and, and usable for across all the groups. You also have the ability as a pro customer to schedule events across different groups. So that's, um, that's something that we designed with COVID. We know a lot of communities started doing online um, events, so webinars, and, and that's been something that may be difficult if you want to cross promote through multiple groups. So we designed this tool that makes it super easy. So for the organizer, they're creating one event and they can manage it as one event. Um, but in, in once they, they schedule it, the event is replicated automatically across all the groups. So that means that you can get a much bigger reach. Um, and so if you want, for example, to start groups in key cities in the entire US, you could reach all those, um, all those, those markets very easily by scheduling one event, and then that event will be uh, replicated across all your groups. So super helpful if you're looking to grow your membership and tap into new markets. Um, so this is called Network Events, and I just um, added some 
some image here so you can see. So let's say I had a global conference, you can see how I can hit it deep, this one event and I could contact attendees across all the, the different groups. Another tool that you get is um, net, what we refer to as network analytics. And so those are um, basically different key metrics that we combine in easily in one page. So you can track your membership growth. You can um, find trends as well. So Nitsi, you can see um, the list of all your most popular events in the last month. So really helping you see what is working or what's not working and then um, optimize. So if I see that one of my popular event is on a specific topic or um, my events that are around networking are doing better than my events are in this webinar format, then I can, I can adjust my event programming to really provide to, the, to my community what they, um, they seem to be finding the most helpful. So we talked about the API earlier. So again, um, this is something that you get access to when you um, become a new pro customer. So that means that you can tap into information like everything around groups, events, local leaders, members, and that information can be um, transferred automatically from Meetup to the destination of your choice. So. Some examples of how this can be used in practice. Um, for example, Our Ladies um, is a community of women um, that are focused on the R programming language, and they designed this awesome dashboard. So this, this dashboard appears on their website. So not on Meetup, on their actual website. And it showcases, it showcases basically all that's happening within their community on Meetup. So they've designed it all here. So it's in their own preference of what they want to highlight, but all the data comes directly from Meetup. So they basically build a framework and then all the data is just updated um, automatically every day from uh, our Meetup database. Another example of the way that you can use the Meetup API is, for example, if you want on your own website to showcase your um, events that you're hosting on Meetup, you don't have to you know, type in every, every time you schedule a new event, go on your events page and add it. Um, you could automate this process by using the Meetup API. So again, you could build that, that page once you build it, the, the, the framework. And then from now on, um, anytime a new event is scheduled on Meetup, it will automatically appear on your website. All right. Uh, with that said, now that we've covered what Meetup Pro is today, I'd love to pass it to Diana to share what, uh, what some pro feature releases we have coming up. Thank you, uh, Mary Lou. Uh, so as Mary Lou mentioned, we have an extensive set of features for pro, but we, we asked Aspire to keep improving our product. And the way we do that, we really listen to our pro customers and we try to build features that are they're asking for. So uh, the way I broke this down uh, is in two sections. First one is really uh, what is releasing soon. So it's pretty much what's around the corner. Um, we're going to be launching a speaker section for the events page uh, and some enha enhancements to the network events. And then um, we're still thinking through um, uh, how we're going to be building hybrid events and uh, and also providing in insights to drive network expansion. So this is high level. Now I'm going to go in more detail about the features we were well building. Uh, so the first one is the speaker section. Uh, so I know a lot of the uh, organizers that we have both on on core and pro uh, they do have speakers that uh, that speak at their events we want to make it really easy for organizer to add this information on their event page and to do so uh when they're creating their event the or, uh, or the pro organizers uh will be able to uh, add in information about the speaker an image a bio and social links and then what the member will see on the event side when they they're visualizing the event is all this information up front just above the uh attendee list and this will be available on both uh, in the app and and on, on on in the web experience and the reason why we think this is very important is that organizers will be able to really showcase that these speakers and members will be able to easily see 
who's speaking and make a decision. That yeah, I'm excited to see the speaker um, uh, to, and you know to, while I'm attending this event. So um, that, that's one of the features that is coming. Uh, next one. Uh, as uh, Mary Lou mentioned, uh, we we uh, Pro has the capability to enable organizers, uh, Pro organizers, to create network events, and network these network events um, are events that uh, don't have that happen across multiple groups. Uh, so with this feature here, uh, we're gonna we're adding more uh, visibility. Um, uh, around how many uh, um, attendees uh, happen across the whole network, not just for the one event. Uh, so uh, in, in this case here that you see on in my example is um, we have uh, the network event is um, uh, has uh, 13 attendees across multiple groups. And we, we believe that this um, uh, this feature, this uh, sh you know, additional uh, showing this additional data to members will really get them excited to uh, to attend events that has a larger a larger audience, and uh, we we believe that this ideally will also increase the number of RSVPs that our pro organizer will receive from these network network events. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. Um, uh, so those those were the two features that uh, that uh, we are almost done building. We're gonna be launching very soon. But now I'm gonna cover two features that were in the work. They're in the works. Really thinking through it. What's the best way to uh, to to build them? Uh, one um, one concept that we've hearing we've been hearing um, from both co organizers and pro organizers is um, uh, making it possible for uh, for organizers to run hybrid events. So a hybrid event is an event that has um, uh, present online, but also in person. And this, uh, we wanted to uh, build this uh, these events to really fit the, the current new hybrid lifestyle that everyone has. Uh, and uh, um, and it, it became, it, you know, it's very popular uh, in the past two years or so. So the way this is going to work, uh, the pro organizer would be able to schedule one hybrid event, so just one event. Uh, and uh, when they're in, uh, when they're adding in information about this event, they're going to be adding information for both for the online uh, part and the in-person part. So they're going to be adding in the event title, description, description as usual. But then on top of that, they're going to be able to add uh, the online uh, link. It might be Zoom or and also the the location of the uh, of the in-person event. As from from the member side, they will be able to see that this event is is uh is a hybrid event and that this would be surfaced both on the web and in the in the member in the member app as well uh the, the next uh the next feature is um uh, is about helping pro organizer really expand uh their network um, um mary lou mentioned that uh pro offers tools to uh to 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 help organizer um, expand to multiple uh, locations, um, and uh, what, the, what we're building here is giving organizers, pro organizers, more visibility and more insights around um, what kind of groups um, are out there for a specific topic, uh, and what kind of uh, how how many uh, members are actually interested in a specific topic. So uh, these these insights would actually help help uh, organizers to know where does it make sense to actually open the next group uh, and uh, not just that but also have more uh, feel more comfortable and confident that by opening by creating a group in a certain location will really uh, be successful for them uh, in in order to um, um, in order to help with covering the cost um, we we um, meetup has features that um, is is helping with that. So this is what I'm gonna uh, talk about here is only available, but um, I wanted to um, uh, as you as as you expand to um, your network, uh, you know these are options these options that could really come handy for you. One feature that we we or we launched recently is making it possible to uh, for members to um, to co contribute um, um, contribute and fundraise and provide provide fundraising uh, for you, the organizer. And to make this happen, you act, just activate it on the homepage. So on the homepage, you'll be able to see that. On the right side of, of uh, my uh, slide here, you, you're able to see how that looks like. And then on top of that, uh, on top of fundraising, 
um, um, organizers can also uh, cover costs by event fees, member dues, uh, and as uh, Mary Lou mentioned, uh, we have the sponsorship sponsorship model that sponsors can uh, can um, can sponsor your group and cover the cost for you. So this is just a summary of things that are coming up, but um, it's just a subset of them. There are going to be a, a few a few other things, but these are specifically features we are super excited about, and uh, they'll be launching pretty soon for you. Awesome. Thank you, Diana. So we want to share a few resources with you before we move um, to the Q&A section um, of the event. And I encourage everyone, if you um, if there's anything we haven't covered yet that you are curious about and you want to hear more about, please um, feel free to use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen to drop your questions. So one thing we've started doing is we host monthly office hours. So if you want to continue the conversation about Pro or if you upgrade or sign up for Pro and you want to connect with other Pro customers to learn more and uh, take full advantage of the subscription, you can join us. Uh, we have our next office hour coming up next week from 12 to 1 Eastern time. If you scan this um, uh, code here, we'll be able to access directly the um, meeting invite. And I believe we're also um, dropping the link in the chat. So we hope to see you there. Um, and we also have the organizer, the score community. So obviously this um, is a great way of connecting with other organizers and we have channels that are specific to Pro. So if you do have further questions uh, after this event today, or again, if you start using Pro and wanna connect with other Pro customers, feel free to join the community on Discord. Again, the scan here, will bring you directly to Discord, um, and we are dropping the link in the chat. And finally, we uh, want you to be able to try it for free before you have to commit. Uh, so we do have a full month free trial. You can access it with this link by scanning here, or again, we have the link in the chat. So if you're curious to try, Pro uh, after today, simply go on this link and you'll be able to um, get started with a free trial. And now we're going to turn to questions. So I see we have a few questions that were asked so far. So someone is asking um, about covering what is going global with Pro. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, going through the features and um, the examples of also some customers using it. So InterSystems was one, for example, where this, um, this company is sponsoring groups around the world. So the idea with Pro is making it super easy for you to expand to uh, multiple markets and to go globally. So you can decide the way you want to do it um, by either tapping into existing communities by sponsoring existing groups, or you can even start your own group. And, um, and then, you know, if you do have 10, 15, 20 groups all around the world, then you can um, leverage the Meetup Pro tools to manage this community in an easy way. So for example, you can schedule network events, right? So instead of having to schedule individual events for each of your groups with the network event feature, you can schedule one event and that event will be promoted across your entire network. And you can also communicate with your members and other leaders that um, you can recruit to help you manage this community. So all this can be done uh, via your pro dashboard. One other question that we got from uh, Pat Huffman is, will price change after adding the new additions features? We don't plan on increasing the price in the near future. Um, so those are improvements that we um, are bringing to the platform based on feedback that we get from our customers. And, and so if you start using Meta Pro and you have 
needs or ideas, uh, we'd love to hear you because as you can see, the um, features that Deanna shared, like the speaker section, um, was something that our you know, organizers on the platform specifically requested and now we're building. So always, um, always interested in hearing if you have any ideas to share with us on how we can improve um, this tool for you. Um, David Good, hey David. Uh, yes, David Good is uh, one of our super active, awesome meetup organizer. So it's good, uh, it's good to know that you're here with us. And um, so what, uh, so David's question is, are you planning to add more options to make sponsors more visible on group and event pages? So that's a really good, uh, that's a really good one. It's definitely something that we've heard uh, from other customers. It's something that we consider. We don't have it yet um, specifically on our product roadmap, um, but it's definitely something that um, Deanna and team and us, we um, know about and that we are thinking and considering for you know, maybe something to work on, on um, in 2023. And also if you have specific ideas on how you'd want to make the sponsors more prominent um, on you know, the, your pages, or even if you have specific examples of requests from sponsors that would want to see um, their you know, logo or their information um, in specific ways on the meetup pages, please share our way. I think having more and more um, kind of, you know, ways to, to, to have an idea of how we can improve this for you uh, will help us um, push, push and prioritize um, this in our future roadmap. Okay, I have another question here from Ember. How does Pro collect money for fee um, of our events? So the way that event fees work on Pro is the same as um, regular. So the fees are collected on the group uh, level. And if you are choosing to use the, the, the ownership model where you know, your one account is the organizer of every group, you can basically have one single account and um, PayPal information um, used for all your groups. So basically the money would all come into that one account. Um, so it works pretty much the same um, and, um, and definitely a good way, as we mentioned before, to um, help you offset some of the cost of um, your, your subscription. And another question here coming from Kyle, um, does the Meta Pro platform have language localization function? Um, that's a good question. So I believe that our pages are localized like the rest of Meetup, um, but that's that's a really good question that I would um, probably need to to follow up on. Um, but we can we can definitely look more into this and get back to you. Um, the The way that Pro works is you're basically leveraging our platform by multiplying right the groups and the event pages. So definitely all those pages are and use the same way um, as you know your your regular subscription. You're just um, you just open the ability to add more groups um, in, and within a single network. Um, so all those pages will definitely um, be localized the same way. Um, so I believe right now um, Meetup is you know translated in twelve to fourteen languages. I think we're at. And um, so same way with with Pro, um, we're we're using the same platform basically. Um, another question here from Tim. Um, so with Meetup Pro, is there a way to message, message members? I think I would get a better response to events instead of emails that go overlooked. Um, yes, so actually that's, that, that's an interesting question. So there are multiple ways that you can reach um, your members with Pro. So you can um, send a message via uh, Meetup. So you can mass uh, message your, your members, just like you do for with the contact a member soul on the group level, but you can do so across all the groups um, from the, the Pro dashboard. The additional way with Pro is that you do over time collect the email addresses of 
your, um, your, your members that attend your events. So that means that you'll be able to, um, rather than you know, send a message through the meetup messaging tool, you can actually email them directly. Um, so we see that some customers have a better response rate by emailing directly from their own um, email provider versus going through the, the regular um, meetup messaging tool. So that's definitely one thing you can do. And again, um, you can also leverage other marketing tools um, by just exporting the emails that you collect on Meetup, and then you can import them in uh, other marketing tools to really, um, if, if you want to set up specific email campaigns where um, you have you know, a series of touches and um, all the automation that you may be using for other leads that you get outside of Meetup, you can combine your meetup leads with those and automate that entire process. So I'm not seeing any more questions. Um, I don't know if anyone um, wants to add anything else, but if not, um, we may just be ending early. I'm just gonna double check. I'm not seeing more uh, questions, so. So um, in the meantime, just letting a last minute uh, chance for people, if you have a, a, a last question that you'd want to drop in the Q&A. Um, but just a reminder that uh, we have a, a podcast that our Meetup CEO David Siegel hosts uh, every month or so he meets with um, members of the community and the overall community and talks about different topics. So if you're interested, you can subscribe here and there's a scan and um, and um, I think in the chat, you can also have the, the link. So if you want to hear more about community managers um, and community builders who have interesting things to say. All right, so I don't see more questions. So I wanna thank everyone for joining us today. Thank you, Deanna, for sharing our exciting product releases. Um, and uh, we hope to see you at our next Pro Office Hours. Um, and thank you again for being part of the Meetup community. Bye everyone. Thank you, bye.